Today on FTI TV, we're going to build a controller cabinet. G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. I hope you guys have had a Merry Christmas and have had a safe break. Uh, it's New Year's Eve here down in Melbourne, so we're looking forward to having a little bit of a party and let loose a little bit. But, um, you know, I just wanted to take this opportunity before we get into this video just to thank all of you guys out there who are watching for uh, liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. The channel's actually had a pretty good uh, growth this year and I couldn't be more proud of it. And it's all thanks to you guys out there who are watching. I appreciate everyone who's subscribed to the channel and who's left a comment, who's liked a video. Um, and I, just, I really, I really appreciate that you guys have uh, been there uh, along with me for my journey on my Dream Reef build. Um, you know, I, I really wanna hopefully uh, get the chance to travel across Australia again and, and bring you some more content from outside of Melbourne. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a small outbreak of coronavirus again up in Sydney, so that ruined my plans to uh, get up there for a trip. Uh, but I'm looking forward to next year. I think there's going to be a lot more progression in this tank next year, now that it's basically uh, well and truly cycled and settled and, and, and getting ready for the fun stuff. I've got a new build happening over here. Yes, a new build happening over here, which is a new sponsor jumping on board, uh, which I'm pretty excited to share with you about. Um, but I'm just looking forward to bringing you more content. You can probably see that I've ramped up sort of my video production um, over the last couple of months. So I'm hoping to keep that intensity up and bring you guys some more videos. If there's anything in particular you guys want to see, feel free to let me know. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or even leave a comment on this video because uh, uh, I do want to bring the content that you guys want to see. Uh, I want to take this opportunity as well to thank the sponsors that have jumped on board with this channel. It's been a pretty uh, tough year. Um, with coronavirus and, and what's happened, especially in my personal business. Um, and, and without the help of sponsors jumping on board, I don't think this, um, this build would have been completed, uh, unfortunately. So uh, thank you so much to Nature Aquariums for jumping on board as a sponsor, ABS Technologies, Delua Australia, uh, Hamali Australia, who's also helped me out, uh, water box tank from Oz Aquariums, uh, Cade Australia with a couple of their tanks as well. Got Aqua Depot as well, who jumped on board recently. And I hope I haven't missed anyone, but um, you know, thank you so much for everyone who's uh, supported the channel. And uh, it, it really means a lot to be able to, um, you know, progress through this build, but also bring you guys the content, but having people that believe in me to support that, uh, support that journey as well. So I really, really appreciate it. But today, we're gonna go through building this controller cabinet. Now, I, I really struggled to find someone to uh, build this cabinet for me. Purely one, people either didn't have time or this job was far too small uh, for them to, to, to bother doing with it. So I thought I'd build it myself and, 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 and actually doing it, it wasn't that hard, uh, to be honest. So <clears throat> I've built this cabinet to fit down the end of my tank here. This is, you know, I'm, I'm, as you can see with all the wires that uh, you can't see, and not having lights suspending and stuff. I really want this build to be really neat and clean. And, and just when you look at it, you say, wow, you know? So I've, I've got this uh, controller cabinet that's gonna house all of the controllers from this build. And it's also gonna be able to hide all the uh, cables. It's gonna have a display down the end here. And uh, just to really, you know, lift this build a little bit. So uh, this is built out of form ply. Thankfully, I can just uh, draw up all the measurements work out my panel sizes and just head down to Bunnings and they actually cut this all to size to me. It's millimeter precise. You can see all the corners here um, are, are just spot on. So shout out to Bunnings for being able to have that service of cutting this all up for me and uh, not making me cut it up myself. But this form ply here, that's, uh, it's got this protective coating on it. It is designed to be used to form up concrete um, but it's got a, a really good moisture resistant uh, sort of surface on it. So over time, I think this is gonna be okay with salt water. If you guys think otherwise, do let me know. Uh, but it's basically just one, two, three, four panels with a recess on the end here, and I'll show you why there's a recess there. Um, but it's all just screwed together. So it really wasn't that hard, um, especially because the cutting had already been done for me. But 
I'm either going to paint the inside of this in a high gloss black or I might clad it in a little bit of acrylic uh, to really give it that pop when you have the uh, all the controllers in there. Um, but also it's going to have a little bit of a light uh, system in it as well. So the acrylic will probably make the light really glow a lot more than it would. Um, so screwing these together was super, super simple. Um, and it's going to slide in the end here, which we'll show in a second. But I think what I'm most excited about is actually getting these Adaptive Reef uh, controller boards. Adaptive Reef is owned by Kyle Elder. Uh, they're based out of either the States or, or Canada. Uh, but he's got like a pretty crazy build happening. Oh, he's built a crazy stand for his own tank with like liquid cooling computer gaming parts, I think. And it's just like out of this world. It's pretty crazy. He's also done... <coughs> Uh, all the control panels for uh, Ryan Batchelor of VRS TV on his dream build. He's done a box for uh, uh, Antonio from Eat Sleep Reef. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get these. I reckon these are a fantastic thing to sort of just help you mount all of your uh, equipment, your controllers. And you basically use it for anything. I've, I think I've seen Ryan use this to actually mount all his RO system to get it away from that traditional sort of... Um, just the steel brackets but uh, these here are just the standard controller boards they are made of a expanded PVC and you can see there it's got all the cutouts for to run your cables this is completely waterproof and you can screw into it as well which is fantastic um, which allows you you know solid mounting of your controllers but uh, being able to keep it up off uh, up off the bottom in case you get any uh, Water damage, you can mount it this way or this way. It's actually got the cutouts on the side as well and the top. And the cool thing is they've actually got all of these little holes and things that you can uh, run cable ties through so you can actually tie your, uh, your power bricks up. You've got a little shelf here with more cable tie holes as well. Uh, and that will allow you to mount more cable, uh, more cable ties and power bricks but it's designed to just keep everything really neat, really tidy. And I think for the minimal cost that it is, it's such a, um, such a cool thing to have. Like there's nothing else on the market that I've seen that is, allows you to do anything like this. So um, I picked these up from Aqua Express, which is uh, uh, run, run by Tasman Sharp, uh, a little 16 year old kid who's importing his own stuff and, 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 and selling it at really reasonable prices to Australia. And uh, he's, you know, knocked up a couple of relationships with the boys over in the States and he's bringing these in. So more power to Tasman and for a 16 year old man, kudos to you for getting this done. But um, there's a little bracket uh, along the back here that has holes in it as well. So that allows you to actually put it in there, get a screw through and screw this in place so you can keep it up like that. But uh, I've got two of these and I've also got a little shelf as well. Um, which I put somewhere, but these come with a set of instructions that have just gone everywhere. But uh, they've also, if you don't need all of these holes, you can uh, plug them up completely with a little plug hole there. They just uh, just punch into there and just sit in place. Or if you want to just uh, run a little bit of cable through and not have such a big hole. You've got these little uh, cutouts here, which I'll show you. The cutouts there, you just punch that in and uh, allows you to get your cable through. So that's actually all included with the unit. Um, you've got some screws there that you can mount as well. But I've got two of these going in here and I'll unpack the other one. And it's gonna house all of my controllers. It's gonna have my dosing pumps on there and everything. So I'm super excited to have these. And we really need to see more of this in Australia that's just gonna help lift your builds up to sort of that next level. So I'm either gonna do it like that, which I haven't really decided yet. I'm gonna have them all on one side. And then I can have maybe my calcium reactor in there as well. And run it like that. We can run it like, like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So I want to have the calcium reactor in this cabinet as well. Or maybe I can run it like that. How does that look? 
Oh, that looks all right, I think. Bring this forward a little bit, maybe. Anyway, so that's gonna have uh, controllers, dosing pump on this side, so then it can just go straight into the John Guest fittings on the other side. Um, but these are super solid and you can screw into it, which is fantastic. So uh, let me know what you guys think, which orientation I should have this uh, with having the calcium reactor and the controller board, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one looks better. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below, but we'll get this cabinet into uh, place now and I'll show you how I'm gonna run the cables uh, from all of the pumps and, and, and controllers in through to this cabinet. So before I slide the cabinet in, it's designed to fit into this space here. So this front side will have a, uh, a, a an acrylic face panel that I'm getting my boy Hamali, uh, Eric Yurchic and Hamali to hook up for me. And that'll house uh, a bit of a display. And on this side, it's gonna be completely open so that I can uh, see and display all the controllers. And uh, it's a bit of a mess behind here at the moment, but uh, it's essentially, I'm gonna have this cable duct running along the bottom of the sump. It will be spray painted black, so you won't be able to see it like that. But that is gonna run all of my cables into the back of this unit and into the back of the uh, control board. And that'll be um, where all the cables mount through. So you won't be able to see a single wire, maybe except for that, uh, the wires coming from the Deltec pump there, but um, I intend to have everything just running through that. So it's nice and neat. And when you look at this, you just don't see any wires at all. So uh, let's get this cabinet into here now and show you guys how it looks. couple of millimeters on each side just so I can get a bit of clearance. This side through. And just like that. So there's a recess on this side. I'm gonna get a piece of acrylic made up with some cutouts. So that's going to make uh, you know my iPad and whatever else I've got here just sit recessed and lit up behind that piece of acrylic so it does have a little bit of a glow which will look quite nice. And then on this side we'll have the, uh, the adaptive reef mounting boards. These ones here go in there. building a cabinet. It's not that hard. I'm glad I did it myself. Saved a bit of coin as well. My bunny's got these sheets pretty cheap so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Let me pull you guys over so you guys can have a look yourself. So that's the cabinet in place now. We come around this side. It's a bit dark you won't be able to see it but uh, that's the cabinet in there. The cables will come through there and all my controllers will be mounted here. I'll have a light up the top there. Calcium reactor sitting there as well. And hopefully that looks pretty uh, smigo. But uh, any suggestions on uh, what you think should be on the front here, do leave me, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys think of my DIY cabinet. So again, to everyone watching this video, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank you for joining along the journey on this channel and following my build. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next year. Have a safe party tonight for all those in uh, the 31st. And uh, for those that are partying tomorrow, have a safe, uh, have a safe party tomorrow. But uh, my friends, for the final time of the year, actually, I better get us in to come and do this with me. Hang on. So again, thank you guys for joining this channel. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you for joining us, my little boy, along with this journey as well. But uh, what do we want to say? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. But if you like this video, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or any suggestions on what I should do for this controller cabinet. And my friends, until next time, for the last time this year. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I'm a pellet gun and it shoots pellets. Okay. How does and it work? It works by the motor and the batteries. So the batteries give the motor 
um, some things that um, make it work. So I can shoot pellets and it activates fire at the back. It activates fire at the back? Yes. Where's the pellets? The pellets, um, there's one pellet there and a pellet there. Wow. Because I'm using this pellet. That's pretty creative. Yeah, and this is where the pellets get shooted from. Okay.